Today, we've got a fascinating topic to dive into the symptoms and solutions of vitamin B1 deficiency. If you've been feeling off lately or experiencing some mysterious health issues, this could be the missing piece of the puzzle. So, grab a seat, hit that like button, and let's get started. Today, we're talking about vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. It's a crucial player in our nervous system, and its deficiency can lead to some pretty bizarre symptoms. Let's jump right in. The first thing you need to know about B1 is its wide-reaching impact on our nervous system. From the brain to nerve function, it's involved in everything. Picture this, B1 is like the fuel for a specific cell called the illegal dendrocyte, which produces the myelin sheath around our nerves. When B1 is lacking, this sheath breaks down, causing a cascade of problems. Now, how do we become deficient in B1? It's not just about what we lack. It's also about what we consume. Becoming deficient in B1 can occur through the consumption of refined sugars and carbohydrates, such as bread, pasta, and cereals. Additionally, tannins in tea, caffeine in coffee, sulfites in wine, dried fruit, alcohol, raw fish, metformin, chlorine in tap water, and certain medications, including antacids, antibiotics, diuretics, antidepressants, birth control, and others, can deplete B1. Let's talk symptoms. Ever heard of Tourette's syndrome, taxia, or obsessive-compulsive disorder? Turns out, these can be linked to a severe deficiency in B1 affecting the cerebellum. But that's not all. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome Even symptoms resembling multiple sclerosis, they all tie back to B1 deficiency. Now, the million-dollar question, how do we fix this? First, identify and eliminate the sources of depletion. Then, consider supplementing with natural B1. I recommend nutritional yeast, just make sure it's the unfortified version. And for those myelin-related concerns, think about benfoshamine, a fat-soluble B1 vitamin that penetrates the nervous system more effectively, ensuring an appropriate dosage based on individual needs. So, there you have it, the lowdown on vitamin B1 deficiency. As always, take care of your health, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay curious.